Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be building a house in the world of Brychester, which is the world that we got the expansion pack for Sims 4 Discover University. And I'm going to be building some university housing. So within the world of Brychester, it's actually separated into three different neighborhoods. There is the neighborhood for the Foxbury University or Foxbury Institute. Then there is a neighborhood for the University of Brychester. And there is also kind of like a middle ground in the middle, which actually has a library, a bar, and then three residential lots now for my save file which by the way this house is going to be for my save i've decided to make the whole of brychester into a completely and solely university based world so everyone that's going to be living here is going to be a university student and if your sim was going to get a phone call one night and there's going to be a party going on in brychester it's guaranteed going to be a university party and so i really want you to sit down and build some university housing so like i said there is separate neighborhoods for each university there's kind of like the foxbury area and then the brychester area and within each neighborhood there is four lots in total so there is two dorm lots there is one university commons lot and then there is also one university housing lot now i'm going to make it for my save file so there is going to be a frat house in my save file as well as a sorority house i've actually already built the sorority house if you haven't seen it i'll put a card on the screen now but i basically made the university housing lot type in the Brightchester neighborhood for Brightchester University. It's quite confusing that the world is called Brightchester and there's also a neighborhood called Brightchester. It's quite confusing to me, but I've actually made the university house in lot type in that neighborhood to be a sorority house. And then eventually I'll actually be making a frat house in the neighborhood of Foxbury. But then there is also that middle ground in the middle. Now, when you go into a new safe fold, there is actually two households living in two out of the three residential lots. There is one residential lot, which I think I'm actually going to keep to be a starter house maybe your sims want to go to university but they didn't want to have roommates then maybe that would be an ideal place for them to live so i think i'm going to keep that as a purely residential but a residential for a university student and then there is also them other two lots which actually have pre-made families living on them so there is one family which is called the elderberry family i believe and it consists of some grandparents and their grandson and there is also another family on the other lot which is actually the lot that i'm building on which is the pleasant sisters now the pleasant sisters hold a very special place in my heart if you ever played the sims 2 you know how iconic the pleasant family was and just the storyline was just so interesting one of my favorite families to play with and so i really wanted to bring them back in my save file and before we actually got discover university i actually already built them their family home it's not the same home that they actually had in the previous generation of the game but a new family home for both sisters and their mum and their dad's living and so for my save they're not actually going to be living in the world of brychester they're going to be living in the world of willow creek and they're going to be teenagers again i really wanted to recreate that iconic storyline that we had in the sims 2 in the sims 4 and so i'm just so excited about the whole entire pleasant family and all the timelines and all all the, all the family tree and i'm just so excited to actually get in and actually start designing them i do believe we've actually had the pleasant family uploaded to the gallery before where it's actually both parents and then both the sisters but they wasn't they really ever designated to a world there wasn't actually a world that they lived in it was just kind of a family uploaded or like a household that was uploaded to the gallery and you can kind of place them anywhere but for my save i just kind of want to design them from scratch and then go in and do all their family tree and all their relationships and yeah i'm very excited about that for my save file but anyway getting back and actually talking about this particular house so like i mentioned the pleasant sisters did actually used to live here but i've decided to make this particular lot and the lot that is next door to it on the right hand side into university housing but i'm not going to do it so it has to be set to a university because within like the build details you can set it to be maybe a university housing for foxbury or maybe for brightchester i've kind of decided that i might leave it open to any type of university student just so if you wanted to have maybe a roommate from Foxbury and you go to Brightchester, you could do that. Or if you wanted to download this house off the gallery and you maybe wanted to make it into purely a Brightchester kind of university housing, you can do that. But for my save file, I've decided to kind of keep it open for any type of university students and it's going to be the same on the neighboring lot. But talking about the actual house itself, so this house actually has four bedrooms and two bathrooms and in total it sleeps four sims. But each one of the bedrooms do actually have double beds in. So if you really wanted to, you could actually have eight sims living in this university house but i only decided to design it to have four different sims living here now with university you can actually have up to 10 sims living in either university housing or university dorms but in my own personal gameplay experience i really don't like having loads of different sims bopping about and it's just so confusing to me you don't know who you're friends with you don't know who you're not friends with you don't even know half their names and i feel like with so many different sims in like university dorms or housing 
you don't really get to actually know the sims they're just someone that you live with whereas i feel like if you actually have a closer like a, a smaller and closer knit household which only maybe has one sim and then like three roommates you're more likely to actually go through gameplay with them and maybe actually make them friends or make them enemies or something i just personally find like if i have so many different sims and roommates living in one lot my sim never interacts with them because there's just so many and so that's why i decided to make it so it's only going to be four bedrooms obviously if you wanted to download this house off the gallery and you wanted to have maybe eight sims living in this house maybe delete the double beds in each one of the rooms and place it with two single beds and then you could do it that way but I just kind of wanted to make it into a smaller university house because in my experience because I have been to university it's quite common for you to go to like university halls we call them halls but they're they're dorms basically the exact same thing in the UK you go there in like your first year you'll meet some friends that you want to maybe live with for the next year and then you'll move into a university house or just kind of like a house in general that's owned by a landlord and then you'll pay rent you'll pay bills and that was just kind of my experience and I feel like that's a lot of people's experience in the UK as well and so I wanted to bring that kind of idea into my save and so I imagine this to be a house that maybe your sims previously met some friends within the dorms or wherever and they decided to move into this university house with all their friends for maybe like their final year of uni or for their rest of the years of uni or terms or whatever you want to call it that was just kind of like my idea but anyway moving on from that as you can see I've now moved onto the inside of this house and I've already started furnishing it and decorating it and I've just realized that I've actually barely spoken about the exterior of this build because I've just been so carried away talking about my safe file and the different families and so I do just kind of want to quickly run over the exterior of the build so as you would have seen I did actually have some ivy that were placed around kind of like the corners of the build and in different like wall spaces and I kind of want to focus on this particular ivy because i've actually been getting quite a lot of comments in it recently and so basically the ivy that i've used is from discover university and i believe it's from the live edit menu you can't actually access it in your normal build and buy menu you have to actually go through the live edit menu cheat to actually gain access to it now i have actually got a mod installed into my game i've spoken about this quite a lot but i've got a mod installed into my game which basically allows me to have the debug menu and the live edit menu in my normal build and buy and i can actually filter it off and on and it's also an organized debug and an organized live edit menu and so I don't actually have to go through the whole build and buy catalog and the whole live edit cheat and just look through all the objects once you actually have the mod installed you can literally just search ivy in the little search bar and it will pop up and it's just honestly the best mod ever I've spoken about this mod so many different times but if you're curious how I actually got that ivy and where the ivy is from it's from discover university and it's in the live edit cheat you can either go through the cheat and enter it and try and find it through the catalog or you can download the mod and just search for ivy and then you can have it in your game and place it on the exterior of your houses or the inside whatever you want to do but also on the exterior as you would have seen there's kind of like this little sunken basement now when i was actually building the structure of the house and like the exterior of it i was actually looking around the actual world of brightchester and looking at all the different like kind of like debug and live edit houses that are kind of placed and make the world feel like more lived in and like more filled up with households and i was actually looking at a lot of these houses that actually had this sunken in basement and it's also something that's quite common in townhouses in london as well and so i really wanted to incorporate it into this build because i think i'm not sure but i think brightchester is kind of based off england but i might be wrong i feel like it's got a lot of european kind of styles into brightchester i personally don't actually see it to be a british world because a british world would be a lot different in my mind put it that way but i i don't personally see it to be a british world but if you actually go to london there is a lot of townhouses that actually have this kind of like sunken basement and i just personally wanted to incorporate it into the build so it ends up being like a little patio area for your sims to go there is a bar there there is also a little seating area there is also a staircase so if you're on the exterior of the build and you just quickly want you to hop down into the basement they don't even have to go through the house they can actually just go down the staircase and it's all usable it's all play tested like always i have actually play tested this house everything Think works absolutely fine the only one thing that doesn't work which i wasn't bothered about it not working because i didn't actually place it to be a usable object was in the kind of little study room area that i've created upstairs i actually placed the jungle adventure stool and i placed like a load of objects below it i didn't expect it to work but it's the only one thing that's not actually usable in this house everything else like always is play tested and it works absolutely fine so your sims will run into no problems when they're actually playing in this house but also on the exterior of the build as you would have seen i did another fenced in area which i kind of designed to be where the bins are where the newspaper stand is and also where the exterior bins are this is also something that i saw in a lot of the different kind of like debug houses around the world there was all these kind of like little fenced in kind of almost like courtyards and they had 
like plants in them or they had some trees in them i did actually place some i don't even know what they're called they're like tree stands they're like this metal object that you can kind of place trees into and it kind of looks like they've been purposely placed there i placed some of them around the exterior of the build and then in the actual little kind of like fenced in area i put a mailbox in there and then i also did put some live edit menu mailboxes and newsstands so there's this little blue mailbox which looks so adorable and then there is also some newsstands as well they're not usable i just placed them there for the realistic touch if you're familiar with my channel you know this and you've heard me say this a million times but i really do like trying to incorporate a lot of realism into my builds and try and make it feel as realistic as possible and it, even though you can't use it i just like the fact that it's a decoration and it looks like it could be usable and then as well as that there is some exterior bins and that is basically it for the outside on the back of the house as well there is actually a little back door which kind of leads to the back of the lot and all that's out there is just a little bench though because where you kind of got the basement area that's kind of like the garden in this house the gardens in the basement which sounds really weird but that's just kind of how it planned out as you can see though i have actually now moved on to furnishing the actual basement but this is kind of like the inside basement so on the upstairs as you would have seen i did actually already do the kitchen now the kitchen i designed to be a university kitchen there is pizza boxes there i actually place some of the juices that your sims can make with the eco lifestyle juice maker i actually placed them down there i imagine that maybe it was like some type of beer or something i also placed a load of clutter around by the bin i placed a bin bag and then just some kind of like empty cartons some like chinese takeout kind of cartons i also placed loads of different bottles in the kitchen I feel like if anyone's ever been to a university halls or a university house in England, you're going to find a wall with loads of different bottles, whether it be a windowsill with all the previous alcohol bottles or whatever I tried to incorporate into this build as well. And then we did also have the dining room, which I imagine is the dining room, also the study room though. So in there I put a bookcase and I also put a large table, which is actually a base game table. And I believe I matched it with the matching chairs that we actually got. They're actually, both the table and the chairs are actually from the 21st anniversary update. And Hey Harry actually designed them. I put them in there and I also put some like books on the table and like pens and little like paper notes and stuff or maybe notes for an essay that they're writing and then in the lounge room downstairs I designed it to kind of be like a party room so your sims I imagine would throw a lot of parties when they actually live here and so down there we have a tv area we have a fish tank I don't know if it's just me but I feel like everyone knows someone that went to university that bought a fish <laughs> so I tried to incorporate that into this field as well there's a fish tank down there or like a separate little goldfish bowl there is a darts board there is also the foosball table I can't even think what else there is down there oh there's the little juice keg as well so your sims can do that this was basically like a massive activity room as well as the tv room but now as you can see i've actually moved on to the upstairs of this build and i've actually started furnishing the bedrooms as i already mentioned there is four bedrooms and two bathrooms in this house so every one bathroom is shared by two sims and like i said there is four bedrooms in total now i was actually thinking that i might actually design a household to live in this house for my save file with all different university students doing all different types of degrees and so maybe if your sim wants to go to university and they want to make some friends there is already some sims that kind of got distinguished degrees or maybe they're doing their first degree and they've kind of got their own like hobbies and stuff and you can kind of befriend them i feel like it would just make it feel a little bit more welcoming rather than going into kind of like an empty university world and so i did actually design all four bedrooms to be for different personality types so we have the bedroom that i'm actually currently decorating right now which i actually designed to be for an artistic student i was imagining that maybe this sim was doing the art history degree at the university of brochester i believe they there is also another art degree but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head but then there is another bedroom on this level which I actually designed to be for a very athletic sim not too sure what kind of degree that they will be doing but I feel like this sim is really into fitness and football they're probably part of a soccer team because you can actually be a part of a soccer team when you actually go to university although you can't be a part of it if you're not a university student I actually talked about a lot of different clubs and after school activities in my last speed build but I kind of feel like that sim would probably be a lot into like sports and after school activities and maybe they're like the university mascot or something i feel like that would probably suit that sim quite well and then on the upstairs with the other two bedrooms i designed one to be for a literature sim that's maybe studying i think it's called language and literature it's a degree i think at Brightchester, University of Brightchester, I can't remember off the top of my head every single degree and then I also designed another bedroom to be for a more scientific kind of sim that maybe is really into robotics, 
really into science and space and that was just kind of like the idea that I had for the different personalities of the sims that are actually going to live in this house. I feel like this goes without saying as well but if you wanted to download this build and maybe you had a different idea for a different kind of sim doing a completely different degree and they've got a different personality and a different style and you wanted to change the rooms to how your sims play and your sim style please alter the rooms to how you want to play. This is just kind of like the idea that I had in my head. If you maybe wanted to have a criminal live in this house and you wanted to decorate one of the bedrooms or redecorate one of the bedrooms to maybe be for a criminal please do it if you wanted maybe to have a chef or a drama student or I'm struggling to think of all the different degrees right now but please alter the build in any way shape or form that actually suits your play style and how you like to play the game please don't ever feel like you actually have to stick with the ideas that I have in my head they're just ideas that I like to give when I do my voiceovers and the ideas that I have for the sims that are going to live in my save file by all means doesn't mean that you actually have to stick to them you can do whatever you want once you download the build off the gallery the only one thing I ask if you do download any of my builds off the gallery just please do not re-upload it as your own and please do not copy the build and then re-upload it as your own that's it do whatever you want if you wanted to change the whole inside of the house to suit your play style and your family please feel free to do it i've actually had quite a few dms and quite a few comments before about this in the past people asking me if they can change the build to suit their family yes 100% do it change the build to how you like to play it's, it's it's your build once you download it change it in any way shape or form that you want to play in but anyway moving on from that and actually talking a little bit more about the builds as you can see i'm actually just finishing up this room now now this room is the room that i imagine to be for more of like the athletic kind of sim maybe this sim is really into basketball maybe really into soccer or football whatever you want to call it and it is in that I think it's class as an after school activity even though it's technically after university activity where your sim is actually in a soccer team maybe they go for runs quite often I'm not too sure of what kind of degree that they could be doing there's all different kind of degrees that I feel like could actually suit that type of sim because it's quite an open like kind of personality to be into fitness a lot of different people that do a lot of different things are into fitness so honestly you could probably have any type of sim in any type of degree in that particular room but now i have actually just moved on to one of the next bedrooms which is actually the bedroom that i designed to be for kind of like the computer science related sim so imagine the sim that actually sleeps in this bedroom and lives in this room is in the computer science degree now in this bedroom as you can see i've put a load of posters which are kind of like space related i feel like this sim would often spend a lot of time maybe in the university commons maybe like building robots and stuff they're really into space each one of the bedrooms by the way actually has similar kind of items so each kind of bedroom has a bed in each room a desk area a wardrobe or a chest of drawers and then a mirror and then I kind of changed the decorations or maybe like one or two objects in each of the rooms to kind of suit the sims so for instance in the downstairs room where I imagine kind of like an artistic sim would sleep I put like a little art easel in there in this room I actually just put like a shelving unit with loads of different like robotic items I actually use some of the ones from the debug menu there's kind of like a little robotic arm and like computer looking stuff i don't even know what it's called but it's from the debug menu and then in the other bedrooms i have maybe some bookcases i just kind of changed up kind of all the individual items in the room but for the most part most rooms i say well, most rooms all the rooms have a bed a chest of drawers a desk area and so on and so forth also i didn't add any laptops or any computers into the desk spaces in any of the bedrooms because i felt like maybe the sims would actually just have them in their personal inventory maybe if the sim goes to the library and they want to write a term paper or maybe if they just want to go to the library and just go on the internet because i feel like a lot of people have gone to the library before when they're meant to be doing uni work and they never end up doing uni work maybe i'm speaking from personal experiences but i feel like they would actually have it in their personal inventory and not on their desk and their desk is kind of somewhere where they would sit and actually do their homework or do you know just some like kind of writing in some way shape or form and so you would have seen in some of the like the desk areas I might have actually added like an open book or something into the middle of the desk if you wanted to you can delete that and actually just put a laptop down but it's just kind of like the idea that I had in my head I do actually have a little study room in this house as well it's quite a small room I think it's like a three by three room it's tight or no like a three by three so it ends up being like six squares but it's quite a tiny little room but in there there is actually the research station so if your sims don't want to travel out to maybe the library or whatever to use that research station then they don't have to because it's actually already in this house one of the things i found quite annoying was with the university aspiration i'm pretty sure it's with that anyway one of the 
with kind of like the checkpoints that your sim actually has to check off is to use that machine and my sim really couldn't be bothered to actually go through the loading screens and so it's quite useful to actually have that in the house or like the place where your sims is living but anyway moving on from that i've now moved on to the last room in this house which is the room which i designed to be for kind of like a literature student maybe they're studying like poetry or something and so i decided to actually put a bookcase in this room i think i actually put a bookcase in the athletic sims room as well but it's kind of like a really small little sim bookcase in here i actually use the bookcase which is from parenthood and then in all the bedrooms i actually use the discover university desk but i kind of used it in different swatches to kind of match with the rest of the furniture as you can see i'm just going around now and just kind of cluttering up the inside of this room and just cluttering up the upstairs part the upstairs part of this desk the upper part of this desk and kind of cluttering it with loads of different books and stuff like i imagine that they would have a lot of books to read and a lot of poetry to kind of remember as you can see i also use the bed which is from i believe city living and just kind of like this blue swatch and then i'm just going to go around the room now and just add some final touches and add some posters and stuff i kind of added these like frame articles which i imagine that maybe the sim had wrote maybe this sim is part of like the university newspaper or something and there are articles that i've written and they just kind of wanted to frame it that was just kind of like the idea that I had in my head. But now I have actually moved on to the last room in this house, which is kind of like the little study space that does actually have that little research station. But anyway, guys, I have actually reached the end of this voiceover. So as always, you can download this build via the gallery. My origin ID is JessicaPyYT, or you could just search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT or just the hashtag JessicaPy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedbuilding video. Bye, guys.